Hi guys, my name is Forrest. And I'm Stephanie from Derby Warehouse. Today we're going to give you a quick demonstration of how to go ahead and remove and install your bearings. Just something to keep in mind before we get started, you're going to want to know what size axles and bearings you're working with so you know which tools you'll need for the process. There are three common types of tools you could use when installing and removing bearings. The first one we're going to take a look at is the tabletop bearing press. The tabletop bearing press, like this Powerdyne one we have here, is arguably one of the best methods for removing and installing bearings because you can safely apply a lot of force. To remove bearings with the bearing press, one end will always have a hook. Simply place the bearing and hook it with the inside of the race and then crank the lever down. That will immediately remove the bearing safe and sound. When installing bearings with the tabletop press, the first thing you'll want to do is place your bearings ever so lightly, shields out, in the hub. They don't have to go in far, you just want them secure so that when you place them on the stem, they stay seated. Do this with both sides, and then place the bearings and wheels on the stem. Once you've done that, drop the stem down and crank the press. That will seat both bearings in the hub perfectly. How do you know if your bearings aren't seated all the way when using the press? Well, one thing you want to do when you're done is a quick visual check to make sure that the bearings are at least flush with the hub. If you need to, you can always reapply more force to these guys because the bearing press is very safe. Now, if you don't have this as an option, what can you do? Well, there's two more options that you can go with. Uh, first, let's look at the handheld portable tools. There's three different general options when looking at the portable tools. There's one that has the hook as seen on the bearing press, one that has a pry bar that you use to pry your bearings out, and the one that we'll be demonstrating, which is the Bones plunger tool. The Bones tool is pretty easy to use. You'll see it has a plunger button on the top that will release these plungers down here. Uh, to remove the bearing, you simply place it inside the hub, release the plunger, and pull it out. It might take a little bit of wiggling, but it should come out just fine for you. If you use the plunger again, you can go ahead and take the bearing off, reverse, and repeat. To put the bearing back in, you just place it back onto your plunger with the shield side on top, and depress it into the hub until it snaps. Once again, on the front, and you're ready to roll. Well, hopefully we've given you enough information that you're able to go ahead and seat your bearings and take them out, change them at home. Uh, if you're having trouble still, go ahead and give us a call or email us at derbywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks.